I've never seen something like this before in my life. It's literally a dinosaur. That's like a 55, 60 pound puppy right there. Right here, coming, coming. Don't put your head there. <laughs> Holy God. Oh, look at that guy. What is going on, Ferris? Welcome back to another video here today. We're gonna see probably one of the biggest catfish you've ever seen, if not the biggest catfish you've ever seen in your life. We are behind the scenes right now in the Shedd Aquarium. Sturgeon. Look at the sturgeon. Oh, they're so badass, dude. Look at that. Look at the sturgeons. Whoa. Holy moly. We could pet these things. Oh my god, this water is freezing. I'm about to pet a giant sturgeon. Those were babies, now we got big ones. I've got to touch this thing. I just want to pet, oh my god. It's literally a dinosaur. That is literally a dinosaur. It's like a petting center, dude. Holy cow, all right, that's enough for me. Have fun, children. Some hybrids here, I've actually caught these before in Lake Ida. These are big live plants. Look at the plants in here, holy moly. I've never seen something like this before in my life. That is so sick. They look like, I guess we don't have them by me at least. It, these look like ladyfish, look how many there are. And they just consistently do circles in a giant school. That is awesome. I'm sure with this petting station behind me, the audio is pretty loud, but I'm just trying to show you guys around, at least just this area right here. Here's a little thing of walleye. It looks like walleye, smallmouth, and crappie. So we got walleye, smallmouth, and crappie in this one. And it looks like maybe a little warhead right there. Look at that walleye. Chilling. Oh, this is the tank I was looking for right here. Hell yeah. All right, we got some massive walleye right there. Sturgeon on the bottom. A big old, looks like to be a freshwater drum of some sort. Looks like a black drum, but I, this looks like freshwater to me, so some sort of drum. And then a massive largemouth. That thing is huge. I don't, you're like thump, right? That's like thump. These are called big head carp. Look at that. You can see why their name is big head carp. Oh, you're gonna hit the wall, bud. Look at them, look how big they are. Holy moly. That is crazy. Well y'all, that was just that little corner right there. We still have a lot to go look at. I'm gonna go down where Greg and them are. I'm gonna head down where Greg and them are eating. Then I'm gonna hop back on this camera and show you guys the rest of this place. There's a lot more to look at. All right, so you guys just experienced that whole entire, that was just one corner of the Shedd Aquarium here. We have a lot more to look at. There's a ton more to look at. I wanted to sit aside here, get away from that loud audio, and tell you guys, I will be at the Georgia Aquarium May 21st, Monday night at six o'clock? 6 p.m. 6 p.m. <laughs> So if you guys do want to meet me, all you got to do is go to the George Aquarium at 6 p.m. I'll probably see a few of you there, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, we'll have a blast. Okay, here we go. Look at how many there are up there. He's got a niche. Oh, there he goes. Dude, that's so sick. Oh, look at that. Caribbean Reef. Oh, I see a giant hogfish. A little bonnet head there. A big old snapper. Holy moonfish, or look down, whatever you want to call them. Big pot of them. Check those things out. Holy cow. Look at this guy following me. This is called a pompanet. So, not a pompano. Same, same family. That's a pompanet right there. Now, Greg, right here is the Amazon. This is my favorite. This is just so This is going to be my favorite as well. Yes. Piera's got some teeth, that's for damn sure. And there's one right there. Such cool, the Amazon's such a cool thing because of how many different colors you've got. And first of all, look at look at this. They got it like a misting system. Dude, this thing is just full of tetras. Like, look at this. Boom. All different species of tetras. And then you got giant lizards up there, you can see them. Just a, it's just insane. Now check this out, if you look real closely, let me get, let me get down in here. Look at the discus. 
There's all sorts of discus in there. Way to, oh my god. And this is all live plants. Man, look at the size of those angelfish. Those things are huge. But here we go, watch this. You thought the other aquariums were cool? Check out the size of that arowana. Oh my gosh. Look how many tiger Oscars they have in a pile right here. Just loaded, just loaded. Big old stingray right here coming at me. Big stingray. Here's another tank with a bunch of angels and discus. But not only that, let me, let me show you guys. That right there, yeah, you see it? Yep, that's a snake. That is an anaconda. It's like 20 something feet long. No glare? Uh, eh, kinda. But that's sick, wait. Alright, you could see that snake now. Look at the size of that thing. Just keeps on going. Another aquarium that you guys are gonna love. Look at the size of that red tail catfish back there. Yep. Holy moly. Oh, oh, it's feeding time. It's feeding time. Look at that. I think he sees the food. Oh, yeah, they know. That's like a 55, 60 pound poppy right there. And they're eating grapes. The arapaima came up. Oh, and he's yawning. There's two of them in there. Bunk. Just sucks them in. This tank right here is just dedicated strictly to red belly piranhas. And there's like a hundred of them in here. Imagine throwing a piece of meat in there. Wouldn't last long, that's for damn sure. Look at the teeth on that thing. Oh yeah, this is my kind of thing right here. Giant garami, giant knife fish back there. Wow. God, yeah, it is a huge clown loach. Bunch of tinfoil barbs on top here. And another big clown loach. Violet line piranha. Never seen one of these in my life. Just learned something a little new. Oh, I love these things. Okay, here's paddlefish. Wait, you said these are native to Illinois, right? Yeah, they live in the, uh, they live in the Mississippi River. Mississippi in... River. So we're here in Chicago, and these are native here. These are probably the most unique fish I've ever seen. And I've seen these things before, but just look how cool that is. That's just different, you know? Like, and it feeds off krill and algae. There's where they live. There's the Mississippi. Wow, they have a big uh, selection of the United States there. There's a bitcher back there. Check him out. He's chilling. What a. <laughs> this is another cool quirk, dude. The the planting and how they they lay out everything between the driftwood, the rocks, the little pebbles, the aquatic plants, everything. These people are very talented. Just aquariums after aquariums. What in the heck? And this just tanks all oh, the archer fish. I love these things. These things will just spit water and they eat like crickets and stuff. So that's another really cool species. Now this is made out of trash from the ocean and right here is legit jellyfish. I've never seen a tank with jellyfish in it. What about you? You ever seen a tank with jellyfish? Never in my, oh dude, what the heck? Wait, the lights are changing. That's badass, bro. Half of a blue, half of a green. No, yeah, the lights on the top of the tank, I think. Oh, yep, now they're turning pink. Oh my God. And now blue, and then purple, and red. Wow, that's a first. That's so cool. That is a first. All right, Greg, where are we going now? We're going underground into the wild reef, which is this is where the sharks swim over top of you. Oh, damn. Now, let me just show you how thick this glass is, dude. What is that? That's like a three or four inch? That's like four inches? Dude, what is that, like a like a 15 pound porcupine fish? Or a... Everything is bigger in a so they eat all the time. And they have great diets. Look at this, dude. Oh my god, look at the panther grouper. That thing is huge. I've seen those in aquariums about this big, and they're very, very expensive. But right there, that is a panther grouper. Porcupine fish, there's all sorts of stuff in here. Wow, dude. That is crazy. And this aquarium continues above us. Check this out. It is a giant pot of what looks to be like pilchards or some sort of sardine or I don't know what that is, but giant pot of bait fish you can see just circling. There's the left side of the pod and there's the right side. They're just doing circles. And this is the right side of the tank. I mean, this is just unreal. Look at that. Look at that wrasse right there. That thing is huge. Humphead rest. That you can catch those actually on the flats in like the Dominican and stuff. Look at all these horse eye jacks coming through right now. It's just a big horse eye jacks. And this tank actually curves, giving you that feel that you're like in the aquarium. Look at that. 
Right here, coming, coming. Look at that. I'm walking over a stingray right now. It's kind of cool. Different for sure. The lighting in this tank is cool. Anyway, these are actually little sharks. It's hard to get lighting, but that's a baby shark. There's sharks inside there. Show this real quick. This is what we're about to do something with. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't put your head there. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, look at that guy. That wasn't even a real goal. Okay, let me suggest something. Uh huh. Don't put your hand over here. <laughs> How old is this? Is that just the coolest or what? I one video of him like right at my hand. Okay. Watch this, watch it. He just claps right there. I was so excited to take you to show you that. Oh, there it comes for another one. Okay guys, check out how big this thing is. Dude, dude that's ridiculous. Oh my God, that is a dinosaur dude. How about it? Hey, the last time I was here, that is a dinosaur. Your counterpart did that to me. Oh, I was just standing right here. Right Look how big it is. How big did you like if I didn't see it coming, I would have flipped out. I wasn't even looking. All parts. I'm literally drenched. Look at the floor. Look at how big it is. Look at that fish right there. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my. That is the coolest ever. Oh. My gosh, guys, tell me that is not a dinosaur. Jay, the guy that is. That's Jay. Wow. Honestly. What do you think, bro? Pretty fly? And I am gonna finish off the video here at Jack's house, guys. This kid is 16 years old, and he built this pond right here, as well as the little one that's over there, which is pretty cool as well. Kind of awesome. Runs me and myself like a year ago, until this man came along right here, Greg. Yes. So listen, here's what I'm proud about with Jack. So Jack, I met you one year ago at the Water Garden Weekend Sale, the yes. one that you're gonna experience on Saturday, hopefully live. And uh, what I love it is that he actually did this himself. And I want to encourage more kids to get out there and do this. The hardest thing of finishing something is starting. And Jack started this water feature last year and just built the whole thing and then rebuilt it again yeah. to make it nicer, just That's like you did. I did it like three times. Just like you did. <laughs> exactly. And it's fun. It's something that you should be doing, getting your hands out there dirty, being outside in nature and creating places for wildlife, ecosystem water features. So I'm proud of this guy. I encourage all you guys to get out there. We want to see more kids in this business because it's not just a great hobby, it's a great industry and a great business too. If you guys do want to check out Greg's channel, be sure. I'm going to have it linked in the description. Also, it's going to pop up as a tag right here. Click on that. Subscribe to his channel. None of this none of this content would be possible without him, Greg Whitstock, the man himself, and, the Pong And guy. you are the king of subscribers, so I can <laughs> use my little itty-bitty channel to grow. No, for sure. Influence. You guys could learn a lot watching his videos between his Team Aquascape channel and his Greg Whitstuff channel. They'll both be linked in the description below. Please check at least one of them out if you have some extra time. Like I said, none of this is possible without Greg, the man himself. So thank you all for tuning along for once again another video. This one was a really cool video, like a tour video. Jack has been a subscriber to me for a while now. When Greg told him I was gonna come over and visit his pond, he was beyond stoked. So that's super cool to meet a Cafaro in person. By the way, speaking about that, remember, Georgia, May 21st, Monday at 6 p.m., I will be at the Georgia Aquarium. 99.9% I'll, I'll probably be filming, obviously. I mean, camera's like connected to my hand at all times, so.